All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the subscriber submitted blind sample review and taste test. Today, I've got sample B that was sent in by channel member Randy Erickson. So we're going to try it in today's video. See how I did? I did pretty good on sample A. I think it was pretty close overall. He got me with that maple finish, but we'll see what sample B is. I got no idea what kind of whiskey or what's in this bottle. We're going to find out. Let's go. All right, so sample B, honestly, it looks, compared to the others, a little bit lighter, at least in the bottle here on sample B. Let's see if we can get a nosing out of the, the mini bottle. Appley. I get Appley, but I don't know. We'll see. It's super small size to uh, try and get that kind of thing going on. So, hey, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. I am trying to branch out and do... Uh, some more different types of content. So if you saw the unboxing of the Westward bottle the other day, if you saw the ASMR video, if you haven't checked that out, that one that was actually a lot of fun to make. I didn't have to talk at all. It was great. So yeah, trying to branch out and do some different things, especially as I'm in the process of building the house, which will have an entire whiskey room dedicated just for it. And I'll be trying to make a video of that going up and being built as it goes as well for the channel so do me one big favor to help make all that happen hit like hit subscribe on the channel if you really want to help support get access to every video earlier get your name on the intro screen and get a cool badge next to your name consider hitting that join button down below it's just two bucks a month all right here we go sample b from randy erickson on the nose it smells kind of like an apple wood fire like if you've ever had uh like apple chips if you smoked apple wood apple chips like when you're grilling or something like that it smells like that it's definitely got some spicy notes to it maybe a little bit of uh like ginger cinnamon baking spices maybe some uh what's that like star anise on there as well definitely a lot of different spices on there I'm not overly sure what this is uh, on the nose. I got pretty dang close on the first guess go around. Got some decent legs on there. The color is pretty light, so I don't really know what I'm dealing with here, but we're gonna go ahead and sip this thing. I don't remember if I even remembered to rate the last one on the tier system. I'm gonna have to remember to do that this time. But most importantly, try and guess what it is, guess what the proof is, the type and all that stuff. So, all right, cheers everybody. That is delicious. I don't know what you sent me, Randy, but that is delicious. Honestly, my first my first thought after smelling it and getting the first sip in and looking at the color and everything, and it feels a little proofy, is that this might be like an American light whiskey of some sort. It's got some fruity flavors on there, maybe some kind of American light whiskey. It's very good. Uh, the nose does not quite do the liquid justice. It's so much better than I was expecting it to be based on the nosing on the palate, so... It's like a raspberry sherbet or sorbet. Like a raspberry sorbet with like spiciness to it. Maybe a little bit, oh honey, definitely honey drizzled over it on that like honey bread that I've talked about uh, in previous videos, that kind of note to it before. It's really, really good. It's got some really good flavors going on. Got a little bit of that mintiness. Got a little bit of mint note, which kind of makes me now think that maybe this is more along the Canadian whiskey line, which, which I was thinking last one, which is like the Found North series, but I don't know. He said it's something I've never done before, and I do have one Found North here in the collection. So it's either American light whiskey or Canadian at this point is where my guess is going. It's definitely higher proof. It's got that minty note on it. Mm, I'm starting to lean Canadian now. Got that minty note on it. It's like a raspberry sorbet with some honey and mintiness and then all the, you know, classic basic baking spices layered in over top of that. All right, so let's go ahead and put some official guesses on this thing. As for the tier system, let's do the tier system first and then I'll put my official guesses in. So one last sip here and then let's do that. I think it's gonna go like top of B tier, like high up in B tier, it's really good stuff. I think for my official guess, I'm gonna go with some kind of Canadian whiskey, I'm gonna say it's like 120 proof. Yeah, some kind of Canadian 120 proof whiskey. So that's sample B. Let me get the, the answer sheet here. 
Make sure I got B. I got B. All right. I'm going to show you guys before I show me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I can see why I... I've never had this before. You are right, Randy. So it's Middle West Cash Strength Dark Pumpernickel Rye at 124.6 proof. No age statement. I have seen this bottle before, but I've never tasted it. So this is my first pumpernickel uh, rye here that I've ever had. And that's, you really throw me off with some of these finishes that you got going on. And obviously this one's not a finish, but. Hmm. Pumpernickel. That's really good though. That's really good. I don't know. It's probably not aged very long, which is probably why the color on it is not as dark. And then some of those notes on there, I don't know if it's from the pumpernickel or just whatever they're doing with it, but it's really good. I enjoyed a lot. Middle West dark pumpernickel straight rye. I might have to, if I ever see, because I've seen it, I've seen, I don't know if it's Middle West, but I've seen pumpernickel at least once or twice. Never picked it up, but yeah, that's really enjoyable. I liked it a lot. I put it on the B tier. Didn't exactly get the guess on this one right. Uh, maybe that pumpernickel really... Uh, made it tough. So that one didn't go quite as well as the first one, but I've got three more samples to go. And then he just sent me a whole nother box, which I ain't even opened yet. So we'll get into all of them as we go. But thank you, Randy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you for your next drink.